The Hustle actually promoted Tangle, which was awesome. Um, I, I shot them a cold call email and just said, hey, I think your readers would dig this. And their content team subscribed and read the newsletter for a week. And then they just promoted it. They gave us a shout out and Tangle, totally free. I mean, I know people pay thousands of dollars for a placement in there. So I was really excited about that. And I respect what they're doing a lot. I think The Hustle is, you know, aside from the morning brew, it's sort of like the, the creme de la creme of, of newsletters. First of all, my goal was to create a, a lucrative journalism career for myself because um, I don't think it's possible in a lot of ways to make good money in media anymore, unless you are, you know, the top dog at, at the Washington Post and the New York Times or Fox News or MSNBC or whatever, or an anchor, which I have no interest in being. And uh, I've done that. I've, you know, I'm, I make more off my newsletter than I do at any job I've ever gotten in the, in the media world before. So that was a goal that I was really excited to accomplish. And, you know, I, I think my dream world, you know, five, 10 years from now is that I am in that upper hundreds of thousands, close to a million readers every day, free readers who are taking in a diverse set of views and opinions. Um, you know, if I could, if I could scale what I have now to 20,000 paying subscribers and be making, you know, high six figures, seven fig low seven figures a year, I could hire uh, uh, and build out a team with diverse ideological backgrounds, five or six people. You know, what I would want, what my dream would be to have a small, really well-paid team with no red tape that's just working together every day to produce like a, a really, really good, strong piece of content every morning that people are gonna wanna read and be excited to read. Um, I have just started to build out a podcast. I have about nine episodes. Um, so that's that's been a really fun project for me. I'm just interviewing guests who I think are interesting in the political world now, but I'm going to expand that into readings of the newsletter every day. So we're going to get into the audio world more and maybe create a different revenue stream that way. And then um, I'm looking at YouTube, which is still the most popular social media, quote unquote, network. I mean, it's the most popular place people get news and information from. And I think uh, creating videos on YouTube in the Tangle format would be something people really enjoy, where it's a quick five minute breakdown of an issue with a view from the left and a view from the right, and then my perspective. Um, so yeah, I, I have plans to expand this into different media platforms. Um, I have a small team now that I'm hoping to take care of and sort of grow with them. You know, I do a ton of work to produce this daily newsletter. And I, I leave a lot on the table by not repurposing the content that I already have. That's, that's like a big goal of mine for 2021 is, you know, I have 4,000 words, 3,000 words of writing every day that just exists as a newsletter that I could cut up and condense and turn into a podcast. I could turn it into a, a YouTube video. I could do all these other things with it. Uh, and I, I'm leaving a lot on the table in that respect. So um, I think the, the heart of it will always be the newsletter, but I'd love to get my toes wet in some of those other platforms.